This is James Com, the guy on the bike. Welcome you all back for another half ass production. And tonight, we're out in Bushwick, or what some people call the Williamsburg Industrial Park area of Brooklyn. We're gonna drop in here at Ad Hoc on Bogart Street. And this evening's exhibition is Five Identities, Five Destinations. This is the neighborhood where everybody's coming for cheaper real estate. Oh, we got somebody spinning vinyl here tonight. What's your name? Ethan. Nice tunes. I actually appreciate the uh, program that they've got here at Ad Hoc. A lot of the work that they feature is related to graffiti and street art. This is a selection of works by Amy Creho. caught up with Amy Creor. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, how you develop some of your imagery and your, your narratives you're working on. I noticed a piece in there with the girl with the guitar and the pirouette character sort of between her legs or near her legs with the cherries and the monkey below it grabbing the banana. Can you explain <laughs> some of that stuff? Or? You know, these are characters I, I've done a, a few series using these characters and the girls are all, these are, these are instead of a, a man figure, she's got a little clown and a little monkey figure there. Do you see these as self-portraits or you know, do they have deeper content? I suppose they could have as many levels as you want to read into them. Do you see yourself as a surrealist or as a, a romantic uh, artist or do you not worry you know about classifications those, or anything? Both of those, but I don't worry about it when I do it. It's just intuitive. And it come, it flows out of the design of the composition, really. The, the narrative flows out. I was also thinking that a lot of these pieces seem to have kind of a tropical feel to them. And I was wondering if maybe uh, you were making reference to someone like uh, Gauguin and some of his you know, I'm South not, Island's pieces. I'm really not, pieces. and a lot of people say, a lot of people compare it to that. Have you done a lot of illustration work? You know, I did do like 15 years of magazine. 15 so, years? Pretty much. Yeah. That's, that's a while. And these are all straight oil paintings. Yeah, these are oils, and I always did oils when I was an illustrator, too. So Very beautiful technique. Thank you. All right, thanks, Amy. Okay. This section of work is by Liz Lopez. This one is titled, Gonna Get My Baby Back. Oil on wood panel. We've got some more interesting details in bizarre narrative here. I was going to say if I was to generalize about all the work in the show so far, I should we call this chick art, maybe post-feminist art. A lot of adolescent female imagery. And strangely, some of these pieces have large and extravagant frames on them. Extravagant frames. 
use a very very good example of that. One of the complaints a lot of people have about pop surrealism and lowbrow is that they use so many of the conventions of illustrators. But that may be one of the final frontiers a lot of artists are breaking into. This is titled The Box, 24 by 30. Kind of like George Gross on Laughing Gas. almost as if this was a sweep. Everything is laid out symmetrical. Very nice. This group of works is by Jen Perekka. This is Jane Perekka. And we're going to talk to you about your art. I was uh, mentioning the fact that I thought some of this, this uh, work had kind of a, an Asian taste to it. Have you been influenced a little bit by Asian art? I have. Actually, I have a lot of uh, Filipino uh, culture in my life. And have you studied Asian art and maybe some of the techniques with uh, Sumi ink and things like that? Absolutely. Love it. It's a huge part of uh, art history for me. I also noticed that a lot of the work has frames on here. Would you like to talk a little bit about uh, the idea of the frame and sort of its position in contemporary painting? Do you see it as a, a convention that sort of relates you to art history, or is it a decorative uh, add-on to the, to the painting, or do you see it as something more? I see it as something more for myself. Um, I think there, that right now there is a call to a certain time in art history. It's almost like the new modern bohemia, and there's a romanticism that can be relayed through the way you frame your work. And so for me, to have very ornate frames, So, this is underground. I think we can get up and see a little detail. Ellelina has filled in a lot of her background with it's like thick little chunks of oil paint. Are you Elena? Evelina. And these are your pieces? Yes. That's a beautiful dress. Thank you. Would you like to talk about your painting? I would love to talk about my painting. It's titled Balance, and basically the center character is a spiritual portrait of myself. It's a portrait of you? Tell me a little bit about some of your influences. You know, this work is, uh, has a certain delicate uh, decorative side to it. Uh, are you influenced by things like Art Nouveau and some of those artists? Oh, yes. Actually, Gustav Klimt. That's what I was thinking. I'm actually into the Surrealist as well, Dolly. Um, I lived in St. Petersburg for a while by the Dolly Museum, and I got huge inspiration from him. St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah. Not Russia. Not Russia. Well, I was born in Poland, technically. Really? Yeah. Well, the work looks good. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Ewelina Baruso. Thank you. James Calm. Reporting on five identities, five destinations. Thanks, Kate.